Have you ever been in a dry place? Couldn't show it on your face And you cry inside Lord, tell me why That relationship not broken So many hurts unspoken And you die inside Lord, tell me why Night after night you pray So nothing seems to ever change Remember God word is true. He knows the plans He has for you. By faith this is what you must do. Just be you wanted to be, teaching was at the top of your list. But things changed. And as you got older, teaching didn't seem like the best option anymore. So you're thinking you'll be something else. 
But what would your 12-year-old self say? Now you want to be a doctor. You don't think teachers save lives? 25 at a time. An actress? Try playing a different role every time the bell rings. How about a scientist? Ever heard of physics? Chemistry? Who do you think teaches that? Teachers today are breaking down obstacles, finding innovative ways to instill old lessons, and taking learning far beyond the four walls of the classroom. It's time to recognize that great things are happening in teaching and put it back on your list. Don't try to convince yourself otherwise. You had it right the first time. Find out how you can make more at teach.org. Make more. Teach. Brought to you by Teach and the Ad Council. Driving has a rhythm all its own. Don't wreck it with a text. Before you get behind the wheel, silence your phone. Or better yet, designate a texter. For more text-free driving tips, visit stoptextstoprex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. This message is for all of you sitting in the passenger seat. And apologies if it gets a little uncomfortable. But how does it feel to be at the mercy of someone who thinks a random text is more important than your life? Someone who takes their eyes off the road while speeding along in a three-ton hunk of steel. Freaky, right? Well, why not just ask them to stop? Or better yet, volunteer to text for them. It might be a little awkward, but believe me, you'll live. Learn more at StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Don't worry, just push that coffee table to one side.
what you know about grinding you know all, about day, grinding all day, day, man? Like real talk, like, I'm talking about talk, like talking about grinding. I'm talking about hard sweat, put tears in it, man. This song right here, man, I fucks with it. Real talk, man. I grind all day, gotta get my life right. I can't slow down, blunt rolls so tight. I'ma blow this bitch like a stick of dynamite. I'm tossing back the snobs till it feels so right. I grind all day, gotta get my life right. I can't slow down, blunt rolls so tight. I'ma blow this bitch like a stick of dynamite. I'm tossing back the snobs till it feels so right. Oh, right. I grind like ears, uh. hear me like ears. Yeah. Please have no fears, the uh. IG is here. Stereo so clear, beats in my ear Got peers by my side while we drink these beers As we laugh and think way back to yesteryear There's no need to question that, yes it's real Ask me how I feel, I've been days for days Scribbling and writing verses, page for page Pleading, don't shock me, bro. Uh, they tase and tase. Uh, if your punk ass is timid, then stay afraid. Yeah. Cause it's a cold world, blood. Ooh. I heard them say way back in the days on that movie colors. Yeah. Throwback old school like the Doobie Brothers. Shouts out to Memphis Street Boys, we truly brothers. Who's he? It's no other than the Duke is yeah. dude. Who sips brew and liquor, so let's do this dude. I grind all day, gotta get my life right. I can't slow down, blunt rolls so tight. I'ma blow this bitch like a stick of dynamite. I'm tossing back the snobs till it feels so right. I grind all day, gotta get my life right. I can't slow down, blunt rolls so tight. I'ma blow this bitch like a stick of dynamite. I'm tossing back the snobs till it feels so right. Oh, I'm right. living deep from Memphis, sitting smoking weed all day. I so low, I'm way too blowed, I'm throwed off in the hallway. Then the munchies hit me, why these monkeys fucking with me? Bitches sitting pretty deep in class, I'm getting ass and sucking titties. Blazing up when waking up, deal with those that's fake as fuck. Bitches jump, I take them bump, my skill, I bet I raise it up. Wake pads with two claims, I straight fast with blue swing, just straight ass like blue stains. They break fast like blue chains, huh? Up in school, writing rhymes and notepads Telling haters move around like a fucking dope man Drop out of school, now I work in rhyme full time Try to keep my bars in order like a school line This the way I did, motivate from pay they did Yep, I live with these six teens like I'm raising kids Place your bids, make it big, this the hope and that's the dream Rap and feed, make these snacks until I get the snacks of green I grind all day, gotta get my life right I can't slow down, blunt rolls so tight I'ma blow this this bitch like a stick of dynamite I'm tossing back the snobs till it feels so right I grind all day, gotta get my life right I can't slow down, blunt rolls so tight I'ma blow this bitch like a stick of dynamite I'm tossing back the snobs till it feels so right right. Jumping out a window cause I'm feeling suicidal I pull up to the curve just to read my bible I died last night so this is my revival God is the judge so this is my trial I'm looking for a better path, cause I don't want no blood bell. Acting like I won't smash and kick door and still stash. Mom's always on my ass, just because I move fast. Like to rap and smoke grass, take names and kick ass. Grind all day, pray all night. Won't have to fight, cause I know my future is bright. That 2020 is the sight. Keep it alright. FCF is the click, bitch, bitch, bitch. Yes, you see what I see, and now you know. Get my life right. I can't slow down. Blunt rolls so tight. I'ma blow this bitch like a stick of dynamite. I'm tossing back the snobs till it feels so right. I grind all day. Gotta get my life right. I can't slow down. Blunt rolls so tight. I'ma blow this bitch like a stick of dynamite. I'm tossing back the snobs till it feels so right. All right.
watching, so I never leave without my Wesson. We see this money make these cats turn to savages, but I leave them with a hoe big enough to fit a cabbage Cause it's one thing your boy won't tolerate. Greed, if you're hungry, I'll feed you. Go and get your plate. The low end's quite the life I know you want to taste. So matters at the table with a nigga who can change your fate, make a change of pace. I could change your weight. I got you getting real money, put your change away. The cut is my favorite, but I push the lack today. I'm decent with this price. I get you right with what you lack today. I ride through the low 50% of the time. Stuff in the way that I would a quarter of the stick is lying. You niggas is penny pinching, think you got a dime. She gotta be down to ride a hood diva, just look at mine. What if you didn't follow the path everyone else takes? Would you rather make your own way or spend your life saying, what if? Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. To find out more, call 1-800-424-8580 or go to peacecorps.gov. Listen, uh, a bit of a, we'll, we'll go to a break, all right? We'll come back after this. We, we need an ambulance. Big surprising news in banking. Co-CEOs of Deutsche Bank, Anshu Jain and Jürgen Fitchin, both announcing their resignations. Uh, this after a series of bad results in the three years they've been there. Uh, something of an insurrection from shareholders, um, and yet a little bit shocking because they had just put forward a new plan. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's, it's somewhat it's a bit, bit of an insurrection from shareholders. It was just a few weeks ago, the annual general meeting. 39% of shareholders, vote, shareholders voted against 
executive. So basically it just means, do you think they've done a good job? We're not happy. Year? Do you like the strategy, that kind of thing? No, 39%. A couple of big funds, including Hermes in London, uh, said, look, it's time for something to change. But as a result, actually, just before that result came out, the day before, the, the bank said, look, we're going to change things a little bit. We're going to give Honestly Jane more control over cost cutting. He's got to cut almost $4 billion of costs over the next X number of months and years. All sounded fine. And then you know, almost as if they've, they've reinforced that Fitch and, and Jane are going to be at the top of the bank. But guess what? They finally realized, I think, Jane, from what the bank is telling us, said, look, I, I can't speak fluent German. I don't have to persuade with the unions. I'm not really persuading people. All of these I think things that we sort of knew when yeah, he took exactly. the job. But, I mean, the question here really, I guess, so John Cryan, a former C CFO of UDS, will be stepping in at yep. some point. So I'm a little bit because Anshu is leaving soon. He's leaving You're going to be sticking around yeah, for a while. Yeah, Anshu leaves the end of this month. Uh, 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 Fitch and staying until uh, the annual meeting next year. But they've just put together this whole new plan. Um, you know, if you're being brought in as a new CEO, I mean, do you now sort of have to stick with this plan? Do you, can you come in with a new plan? To I mean, extent, you, you think so. I mean, one thing they can do is, is try and sell Postbank, one of the retail franchises they own in Germany, which they bought a few years ago. Um, that strikes most people as a pretty decent idea. The unions have been against it. See if you can push that through. The bigger question, I suppose, is more the investment bank, which is the same question we had earlier this year. Uh, when Credit Suisse changed the leadership there as well. And John Cryan, of course, comes from UBS, which admittedly just after he left decided, look, we're going we're gonna to cut back on fixed income trading, which, yes. of course, is where Deutsche is exceptionally big. And just last week and the week before, Jane was out saying, look, we've got to change the way things are done in the industry because there's a big market maker. We think there's a liquidity issue. There's other issues. So, you know, this is a really big franchise for, for Deutsche Bank and where a lot of the costs and especially capital costs are. So what is the game plan for Cryan? I mean, you know, you talked through a little bit, maybe post bank and some mm. other things. But, I mean, it, he, does, he does come out of an institution where FIC didn't yeah. work at all um, and stepping into one where it is really where they've sort of committed themselves. Yeah, and I think he's, he'll probably be a bit more tough-minded about, about capital, I would think. Although, don't forget, he's also been on the board and was made vice chairman last year. So he has a degree of a hand in some of the strategic changes that have happened. So it's not as if he's coming to this completely right. fresh. But, yeah, I think once, when, when now he's going to be CEO, I think he'll have much greater leeway to say, look, we, I think we should have a little bit more of a, uh, of a change here. And yet shareholders are expecting to hear something from him by, I think, July or August. There was already a time frame on when right. they would hear from the, the, the departing co-CEO. So, so he's got to find out what he wants to do and elucidate it in the next couple of months. And yeah, it, it stocks up 5% by close of play in Germany today. So clearly, whether it's him or <laughs> Anshu and Fitch and going, shareholders are excited about something. All right. We will keep an eye on it a lot there, and we'll be back with more breaking views tomorrow. price of oil is on everyone's mind, especially as people take to the roads this summer. And our own Kevin Allison says crude may drop even further in value this year. Kevin, take us through your thinking. Well, Ren, the price of oil has rallied about 40 percent from the lows it hit in January. And the momentum seems to be on the upside. And a lot of the oil industry is very optimistic about prices. Why do they think that prices are going to rise? Well, okay, oil service companies have been saying they think we hit $70 for Brent crude by year end. That's $5 above the current price. Yeah. Shell based its $70 billion takeover of BG Group on the idea that yeah. crude should head up towards 90 bucks a barrel by 2018. Yeah. The idea is that companies are in cost-setting mode. They're, they're, they're right. reducing investment, and over time that's going to shrink the supply of oil available to the right. economy. That should push prices back yeah. up. Yeah, and why are they wrong? Okay, here's why they're wrong. First, people continue to underestimate the degree to which these drillers who are drilling shale oil are reducing costs. Right. Goldman Sachs had a paper out the other day saying that the price, the break-even price for shale producers has fallen from $80 a barrel last year when oil started to slide yeah. to about 60 bucks today. Yeah. And there's potential for that to keep going. Goldman says that in less than five years' time, you could see $50 break-even price for oil. Yeah. And because of the shale producers, marginal suppliers of the oil market right now, yeah. that's going to drive the price. Yeah, yeah. And what about OPEC? I mean, certainly they have an interest, or it has an interest, in the high oil prices. How, how is it going to affect things? Well, I would question that, actually. First of all, when you talk about OPEC, you've got to really just talk about Saudi Arabia, along with a couple of much smaller Gulf states. They're the only members of OPEC who really have any flexibility yeah. to cut back production, which uh -huh. is how OPEC would accomplish a rise in prices. Mm -hmm. The Saudis could do it, but why would they? If prices mm -hmm. continue to stay at this level or even head lower, 
by by cutting production to raise prices, they're cutting off their nose to spite their face. Yeah. They're going to lose the share of the oil market that they currently enjoy, rather than holding right. onto it as these shale drillers are able to undersell them. Yeah. And so one of the one of the things that we're saying is, uh, if the current trend of falling costs in shale continues, and there's yeah. good reason to think that the Saudis have no motivation to move away from their current policy, which is fine, we're the world's low-cost producer, right. we're just going to produce flat out right. and, and, and win by selling on volume yeah. rather than selling it yeah. at, on profit. So yeah. it doesn't have any reason to, to stop doing right. what it's doing at the moment. And it's interesting, something you mentioned in your piece, I think, it's sort of a virtuous circle. As energy prices drop, that helps shale producers, which is a very energy-intensive business. Right. Is that right? This is another underappreciated aspect, right. Yeah. This is another underappreciated factor. Yeah. Uh, shale drilling is very energy intensive. In fact, it's a lot more akin to a manufacturing process than right. to traditional oil drilling. Yeah. In shale, you're drilling thousands of individual wells and laying on different techniques, one on top of the other. It's a lot more like a factory assembly line than yeah. traditional drilling where you think a single or a, few, a handful of wells that pump for decades in shale, it's thousands of wells that pump for a shorter time. Yeah, and because yeah. that's like a manufacturing process, mm -hmm. it requires a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. And also, you can continue to find it over time. At the Sarah Week conference in Houston, a big energy conference uh, in April, this was a huge theme. It's that these shale companies are getting better and better. Even in the, this environment of low prices, they've still got the resources to plow into making their process more efficient. And I think that the oil market, and especially the oil industry, which seems to be almost uniformly bullish about the direction of crude prices is making a big mistake by discounting that. Yeah, interesting stuff, Kevin. We're going to have to leave it there. We'll see if you're right, and we'll be watching that story. In the meantime, stay tuned for more Breaking Views tomorrow. perfect show to be able to, to mix them in. We opened the women's collection uh, about four weeks ago and we just started to think actually we should put them together on a runway because when we started working and putting them together they felt like they were, they were a couple. to have a real formality and tradition but we also wanted the poetry as well and you know we, we try to do it through everything from the mixing of fabric so we put lace in there for poetry which um, you know is unconventional but I liked what it did. Fiat Chrysler boss Sergio Marchionne is certainly talking a good ball game. He's pushing industry mergers and even approached GM about a possible deal earlier this year. Now, Anthony, of course, he was rebuffed, but his ideas may not be as crazy as they may sound. Take us through this. No, absolutely. The craziest thing about it is, is that he's coming out and publicly saying, as he did, did on the conference call for earnings in last month, look, we're desperate as an industry, yep. not just Fiat Chrysler, we're right. desperate as an industry, we're wasting far too much money, duplicating processes, we're putting mm -hmm. capital to, uh, to work in places where we could easily cut back if we merge, we must right. all do this. Right. Honestly, it's not about me right. trying to sell Fiat Chrysler. So in theory, at least a good idea, but now let's yeah. get to the specifics of what he's trying to do here. Well, I mean, what he's basically saying is that there's a few things that go in the industry. Number one, we're spending too much money collectively on things 